So everybody, how you doing? This is Juan coming at you with a review of the Canon EOS Digital Info. It's a application that you put on your laptop and it could see the shutter count on your camera. I guess it'll see how many shots you take and since you burst just the camera. It's the only thing I could find online. I tried the online camera shutter count website, but it doesn't count the shots. You're supposed to upload a photo, but in this, I got the Canon 60 over here with the Canon 50D, just to show you the difference that this application apparently works. And this guy here that I bought, it's a 6D, bought this year, uh, a few weeks ago, has a very low shutter count. It's practically brand new. Wow, this one here, which I've had for over, since it came out in 2009, well, it came out in 2008, I guess, and I bought it in 2009 and early part of it. And um, it does have a high sh shutter count because I did weddings, modeling, portraits, landscape. I used it for about five years and I put a lot of photos on it. And it's got about 72, according to this, 72. 275,000 <laughs> and this one's uh older than this one but this one yeah whoever gave this up apparently didn't do much with it at all and i'll show you in a minute we'll start with the canon 50d which i have over here i'm not getting rid of this until it dies it does great work don't have a problem with it. i know it's aps-c chip it does good photos. I did weddings. I did a lot of stuff with this for years. People kept asking me to do other stuff after I stopped doing weddings. Um, I just couldn't keep up with the full-time job and doing weddings, which was working out. But after time, started to wean off it after I got married <laughs> and started to actually step away. But anyway, here's what's up. I'm uh, turning on camera. See if it works this way because it's a little buggy with how to connect it it might pick it up right away and it looks like it did this is the other utility i'm closing it this is the canon utility opens automatic once it connects um now i'm connecting pressing connect and there you have it you'll see right there let's see if i can zoom this in for you guys bring it up zoom it in and you see what the shutter count is seventy-two thousand six hundred and eighty-nine. It's got all the information, the lens that's on it presently. Today's date, my name, what it used to be, um, firmware version, which I do need to upgrade that. I think they got the latest, thought of, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the latest version, but I need to get a SD card reader, a card reader for it. I don't know what I do with mine, but that's what's up. That's the shutter count of the EOS 50D. All right, we're gonna close that one out. See if I could do this. It'll show that the camera's gone. We're going to switch over to the uh, 6D. Flip this guy over. I am getting a grip for this one tomorrow. Should be here. Purchased it. Plugging in the 6D. And I am about to turn it on. And you'll see it populate as well. EOS utility is opening. Don't need it right now. Down here, it also mentions what is connected before you even hit the connect button, which I'm about to do. Connect. And I was happy to see that shutter count. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Somebody gave this up with 6,280 shots. This is a camera that came out 2012, I believe. So that makes it about 11 years old. Whoever had it probably didn't use it that much. Probably didn't use it for business, apparently. Just probably used it for every once in a while. Maybe family photos and stuff. But that's what, within 10 years, that's that's like a 1,000 shots. Not even that, 500 shots a year. Oh, less than that. About 500, let's say 500 photos a year. So this person was just using it for family photos and i bought this yeah to 2023 a few weeks ago offline 
got it for uh, about 400 bucks. I think it's 400, a little over $400. That's what I bought it for. I didn't know what I was going to get. Uh, it was rated as E minus on the Autorama. I think that's where I bought it from. Or was it uh, KEH? One of those two. Anyway, it wasn't. It should have been rated higher just for the shutter count alone. So, uh, I got a great deal. Camera's practically new. Very good condition. Work functions properly. But if you want to know how to uh, do the shutter count, um, this is what you look up right above here on the top bar. EOS Digital Info version 1.4. And I haven't had a problem. I used it. I haven't had a problem with it. But that's how you get your shutter count. Uh, the only way that that's out there that's kind of popular. Try it, like I said, online. It depends on the camera. If it does, if the image uh, records, it uses the image to see how many shots. But it doesn't record it on the image on the 6D. I haven't tried it on the 50D. Uh, uh, I just left it alone. I just said, I'll just download this. And as you can see... The older camera has more than the newer camera, but this newer camera has way less than what I would think. This is something that should have <laughs> probably sold a little higher than what they sold it, but I got it, so I'm good with it. Anyway, I hope this helps people in trying to figure out the shutter count on your computer and connecting it to your camera with the uh, application here. It doesn't take much uh, to download. It does come in a zip file, so just prepare to zip, unzip, and... Send it to where you directory you need it to be. Anyway, um, that was it. Just wanted to show that this what this is how this works, and hopefully uh, this helps folks out. Have a good one.